Hey guys, Mike here, and today I'm going to show you how uh, to maintain uh, your older gate valves, um, stop leaks from around the packing bushing here, and uh, just keep them, you know, in operating order just a little longer because these are not the best valves. Uh, they do leak, they have a couple problems, they can uh, corrode and stick in the open or closed position and freeze like that, and you have to take them out and change them. And usually what you would need or would should change to is a ball valve because they are much better than gate valves. Or I would change to a globe valve. But this is just going to be a little bit on uh, something you can do. Alright, be right back. Okay, so obviously a gate valve, you know, works like a gate. You have a brass piece in there that opens and closes with the handle here. Now, I actually did a video before this. Well, not a video, but I, I just tried to get this piece off so I could show how this transfers to that. I'm actually still not sure. I think it has some little gears or something in there that brings this up, but I'm not entirely sure. But these valves do leak over time, and the, um, this is the packing bushing, and the little uh, washer inside there will deteriorate, and that's how some of your leaks will happen. So you can uh, replace that washer, and that will stop them, and this valve will still be good. Or you can do something simple, where it's if it's leaking around the threads here, you can put some Teflon tape there. So I'm going to break this valve down, uh, valve down for you right now, and uh, do that little uh, repair. So say this is leaking, I just want to undo the bolt, the little nut on the top of the valve here, and you can do that with some vice grips. And then I already loosened this all because it was really tight, but usually this, you're going to want to, you know, it's, it's going to be on there pretty good sometimes, so you're going to want to bang it up with a rubber mallet or something. I don't know if that's a good idea, you know, you don't want to damage the valve in any way. I would just be careful when you're taking this off. Uh, No-no is you do not want to grab it with the vice grips. As you can see, it can crack. So here's the stem of the valve. And this is your uh, packing bushing, or just nut as I call it. And see, the problem with this one, there's no washer in here. There's supposed to be a washer in here. And I think there should be a washer under this as well but I'm not sure. So one of the things you can do, and say this all is a washer and is good, and it's just leaking around the threads a bit, you can just take some Teflon tape and do a small little, re quick little repair here. You know, just go around it. Oops. A bit too much there. Just go around it twice, I'd say, like that's good. And that. So now Teflon tapes around the threads there and you're good. And then just simply put the uh, valve back together. So you're going to put your packing bushing back on. You can hand tighten it down. It's probably all you're going to need to do. But you can give it. Now remember, the harder you tighten this down, the harder it's going to be for the valve to turn so you don't want to tighten it too much. And then just put your valve seat back on here. Oh, wow, I'm stupid. Pfft, I forgot to put that in. What the hell am I thinking? There we go. Alrighty. Now it's, yeah, I was wondering why that was uh, so loose there. Okay, so, you know, you can hand tighten it, but I would just say put your vice uh, grip pliers, uh, well, you know, whatever have you, just do, uh, do one little turn. Like that. That should be that should be good. You don't want to do it too much because the valve will get too tight. Put slap that back on. Put that. And then put the top nut on and you should be all set. And your valve will be good to go. And it'll stop leaks from around there. So that's how you do that. Just a little a valve maintenance tip, I guess you could say. I'm just gonna tighten this up here. Okay, and now that still opens freely and closes freely and it's not too tight. So I would say that's a job well done and a repair is finished. So that's just a little maintenance thing you can do on the gate valve and how a gate valve works. But as always, where did I put it? Oh, here it is. I would go with a ball valve if you're changing any valves, especially watts, because they are very good. So yeah, that's uh, this video on the breakdown of a gate gate valve and just a little gate valve maintenance. Alright guys, Mike out, thanks for watching. Bye.
Now I have an abundance of valves down these boxes here, but I'm just going to show you another one here. This is when you know you should just pretty much change the valve itself. When it's... Is this closed? Okay. When it's this hard to open. And then when you open it, it goes like this. Change that. Just, it's not even worth repairing. Just change the whole thing. I mean, I don't know if this leaks or not, but if it's leaking and it's doing this, you know what? Get the ball valve. 